Good afternoon. It's April 1st, and this is the update to members on the COVID-19 crisis. I'll go over updates primarily from Albany today and talk about what's going on also in central New York. And I'll give you a few updates on what Matthew's doing so you can stay up to date. In Albany today, the governor had his afternoon briefing, and he now confirmed that there are close to 84,000 confirmed COVID-19 positive cases in New York State, and, and 47,000 confirmed cases in New York City. To date, there's been 1,941 deaths due to COVID-19 in the state. Based on the current modeling, the state is projecting the effects to occur at the end of April now. And effective social distancing measures will greatly impact the strain on the healthcare system. One model by the Gates Foundation says that the impact could be seen through July. Regeneron is now creating 5,000 test kits at no charge, and the first batch will be delivered Monday and will continue with 25,000 units per day ongoing. The state will now close down New York City playgrounds and basketball courts, but leave open park space available. The governor announced a conceptual budget agreement during his press conference, but would not provide the details. Legislative leaders are briefing their members today, and if there's an agreement on remaining budget bills, they'll pass today. The governor said it will be a robust budget with a number of policy items included. Stay tuned for MACNI updates as we'll bring you up to date as the budget gets passed and its components. Both houses of the legislature are meeting today and will continue to meet on budget bills. And at this time, several final budget bills have yet to be introduced. On the update provided by Ostruff, you'll see, at least at the time of this put together briefing, what bills uh, were introduced and where they're at. In terms of upstate um, guidance and uh, actually all of New York State's guidance out of New York State development, you'll see there's been no change to the guidance on essential businesses. They do have a frequently asked questions that you can take a look at to determine whether a business is subject to a workforce reduction. You should look at that because it's a new question and answer. There's also updates on New York City, the U.S. Treasury, the New York State Department of Health. The uh, New York State Department of Labor has a link there for the Warren Act, which is important to consider if you're in the plans or if you have announced a layoff. It's important to also let people know about unemployment insurance benefits as a frequently asked questions update that you should take a look at. There's also information there on New York City, the agency suspensions, and some of the details of what's going on in New York City. Also uh, on our website, in the updated information, are the most current listing of executive orders and their links for New York State, New York City, the Department of Health, There is actually one on Department of Health related to the use of telehealth, which is an ongoing development. You should take a look at that. There's guidance on home care and care facilities, a whole series of links to government-related information to include information uh, in the links uh, concerning the Small Business Paycheck Protection Program, the Paycheck Protection Program information sheets for borrowers, Paycheck Protection Program application form, all included on our links on our website. There's guidance on schools. As a part of the budget, you'll we'll expect to see the school's budget rolled out. There's a series of guidances related to business that you should take a look at. And you'll notice on this sheet, the ones that are highlighted are new or something you should specifically be taking a look at. There's New York City guidance. Um, it, one of the developments just recently was new guidance on construction and what essential construction is. Uh, there's some updates to there, especially, specifically for New York City, but you can also find information related to insurance, uh, excuse me, construction uh, amongst these links as well. 
And uh, there are links, as I mentioned here, for workers, Worker Adjustment and Retraining Notification Act, which is the Warren Act. And then, as I mentioned, frequently asked questions for unemployment filings. Also, you'll find on the information we provide on our website, a press release that we put out detailing some of the efforts of our members to stay open and to be safe. It's of the utmost importance that our members stay open as an essential business and they stay safe. And to that end, we continue to promote and are rolling out in a much larger manner, keeping people safe and factories running. It's an initiative of multiple employers from Central New York and the Mohawk Valley, a founding group of around 12. Now we have an ex cohort that will be beginning soon uh, in Central New York and the Mohawk Valley. And we expect to roll this out statewide to help essential manufacturers stay open and stay safe. We believe this could be a model for how to open up other businesses that are non-essential and even in other sectors. But as of now, we're rolling out to manufacturers um, so that they can keep their people safe and keep their factories running. In here are examples uh, and quotes from member companies that are doing something significant in this space. Please continue to send us your questions. We'll, we'll, many of them are specific, so it wouldn't make a lot of sense for me to try to cover them here. But please keep sending them and we'll keep trying to answer them for your specific company. My team is working overtime to answer your questions, to respond as quickly as we can. As you can imagine, we're literally inundated with requests and we're trying to answer every one of them. And I remind you, just keep asking. Uh, we'll eventually get to you. Uh, sometimes we won't have an answer, we'll tell you that, and other times we'll give you an answer we think can help you be successful. I wanna remind you that we're gonna to continue to do all that we can remotely. Uh, our team has, has really come together and working hard to serve you remotely. Um, and uh, please continue to reach out to them and, and continue the, the gracious way you've treated them. Uh, because um, it's really a testimony to the success, you know, and in in really the kindness of so many of our members as they reach out and interact with our team as we continue to work with you to help you be successful. Look for continuing updates on the budget. Uh, that is the New York State budget, which we expect to be passed today or the early morning tomorrow. Uh, continue to reach out for updates to the federal uh, legislation, the CARES Act, you should have seen in, uh, um, an update to the CATCO briefing. And uh, if you haven't seen that yet, please check our website if you'd like to tune in for the WebEx with our Congressman CATCO. We'll be offering other remote events, some really exciting leadership-related events that you check out our website for. As I mentioned before, all of our materials that we're now using, we're going digital with. We're converting every class as a, to a digital class as we continue to navigate this time ahead. This morning, I started um, actually a walk and talk. So you can call in and you can get that on my, uh, my uh, thought for the day. Uh, you can find that on our website, which you can have that sent to you. And um, this morning I had people and this afternoon I had people join me on just a walk and talk. We need to get exercise and we need to keep uh, an opportunity for us to get out of our seats and, and to really get out into the community in a safe way by just going for a walk. And so I offered that starting this morning. As I've always remind you, be calm, stay safe, and carry on. Have a nice night.